Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to the digital art series here on PSD Touch Plus. Today we are going to continue the previous episode and we are going to finish this design, this character design of this medieval robot. In the previous episode, uh, we finished the line drawing. So we are going to start with that line drawing and we are going to make the colored illustration. If you want to follow along, you can download the line drawing version. Or if you want to start from scratch, you can also go back to the previous episode and download the rough sketch as a guide, which you can use to trace over. So you can follow me from the previous tutorial or starting from this tutorial if you are only interested in the coloring part. If you find the techniques a bit difficult and the whole tutorial a bit too fast, I highly recommend to watch the previous tutorials, maybe even the basics series, before you start working on this illustration. It's not difficult, I made it simple intentionally, but it might be difficult if you are not really efficient in Photoshop. Even though we only use a couple of tools, it's always good to know uh, your basics. So let's get started. As you can see, the first step that I usually do is to uh, decide on the color swatches that I'm going to use. So I'm selecting colors and I'm painting them here on the left side. I'm going to use uh, these colors and after I have them, I use the mixer brush tool and I mix them together a bit just to see a bit of variation between the colors, how they work together, how they interact uh, to each other. So I just made, uh, did this and I will also need gray color. So I just draw a gray swatch as well. And I use the dodge and the burn tools to make again a bit of variation on top of it. So I have brighter grays and darker uh, grays as well. I turned off the shadow because I had it on a separate layer. So now I have only the line drawing and the colors on a separate layer and because the line drawing uh, doesn't have white I can draw underneath it so it's only the line drawing on a separate layer and I've started drawing beneath or under that layer on another empty layer which I use for coloring. Uh, I use the brush tools just simply and pick up colors from these swatches and the main thing I would like to do is to keep contrast between the elements on the robot so I try to use these colors wisely and try to separate the each of the elements from each other um, like using this very bright orange color helps me to separate parts of the armor these plates and uh, again I'm using orange to pick up these parts of the armor and I want to finish first this upper body part, uh, most of the elements here. So again, I use that teal uh, color just to keep contrast between the elements. And now I moved uh, to the pelvic area. Again, I use the same colors and I work up those details. I decide always on the go where to use which colors like now I decided okay uh, I will use red for the cape so I'm just simply selected red from the colors on the left and I started drawing over the cape I always zoom closer when I do the coloring and uh, I want to make sure it's a precise uh, drawing it depends on your style. I want, I like to be precise if I do this uh, illustrative style. I like to stay inside the lines, but if you want to be a bit more rough, you can always uh, make it more dynamic and more interesting by uh, going outside the lines as well. So as you can see, I colored the cape. Now it's uh, the flag is the next part that I'm going to color and I'm using the same color for that. So I just quickly fill in the color and then here on these little details I made my brush smaller 
and then I finish it up. It's good to know the keyboard shortcut for the brush size and uh, all, all the changes that you need to do with the brush, like changing hardness and softness. These are useful keyboard shortcuts. I mentioned them a lot uh, in previous episodes. So there's the shield as well. I'm drawing now the hands and the arm. I'm using again the same colors. Apart from the red, uh, or actually together with the red, I'm using five colors, as you can see. And with those five colors, I can easily differentiate everything on the design. I usually call this step in coloring the blocking. So I'm, I'm creating big blocks of colors. There's no shading or no uh, smooth rendering on the image at all at this stage is just the blocks of colors helping me to visualize and imagine the whole character and setting up the color scheme so there's the next part the leg the right one and then the left one again using the same colors and as I said, I always decide on the on the go where to use which colors. I have a rough idea in my head, but I always uh, just improvise where to use these colors and how to use them. So that's the the gray is basic uh, color for the armor, and then these are probably the more uh, important parts or more uh, heavily armored parts the the blue ones the ye yellow ones are more like decorations now I'm doing these cables between the two parts of the body the upper body and the pelvic area and I'm using a darker color for it also that darker blue color so I have the cables now I need to do the cables also on the top, on the shoulders, using the same color. And now I'm drawing the flags parts and I'm going to the sword and that's the last part. So I finish up with the sword. I'm going to fill in a gray color for the, for the sword. Here I used magic wand because it was really easy to select it in the line drawing layer so don't forget I'm working on a separate layer it's not the line drawing layer it's a separate layer below it um, so now I have everything uh, all the blocks uh, are there so now it's time to start using the dodge tool which will create highlights so I started drawing over it and at this stage usually I just duplicate the coloring layer so the layer that I only use for colors below the line drawing layer I make a duplicate of the the coloring layer and I use the dodge tool and the burn tool on this duplicate the reason the main reason is to be able to see before and after so when I'm going to turn it off you will see without the dodge and highlight uh, or dodge, dodge and burn tools and vid if I turn it back you can see I use the burn and the dodge tool um, next to each other I use the burn tool to darken details and the dodge tool to make highlights and the good thing is when you have all your colors already uh, these tools will work on all the colors at the same time now I'm working on the cape and the flag you can see those two shadows immediately made it the flag look three-dimensional and um, also it's with the cape adding a bit of shadow immediately makes it look uh, three-dimensional now I'm working on the shield with uh, darker details with the dodge tool uh, sorry with the burn tool and I'm now using the dodge tool to add more highlights adding a little bit of details and I will probably go over some parts again on the whole armor with the with the dodge tool just to add these highlights I will draw over the helmet now and the cape and probably the flag as well 
and there's the highlights on the flag just we very quickly uh, added a couple of highlights there now again I'm using the burn tool to darken part of uh, some parts of the design and as you can see I have an imaginary light source somewhere on the left top left corner so the light comes from there so everything which is on the right bottom side is darker everything which is closer to the top left corner is always the brightest parts I'm working now on the right uh, leg which is actually the left leg of the robot you can see I added all those little details now I'm working on the other leg and I'm adding first shadows all around the plates then I'm adding highlights and I it shadow and highlight always helps me to describe the form better even without lots of little details if you have your highlights and shadows it always helps to describe the whole form to make it look like three-dimensional okay I added a bit of light on the edge or, or on the end of the cape and now I finished probably with the shadows and the highlights I add a little bit more on the foot but basically that's all I add a little bit on the arm as well or on the hand part and it looks much better you can see this is the coloring layer without the line drawing I just turned off the line drawing layer and you will see I turn back on the line drawing this is without the highlights and with the highlights so without and with the highlights you can see how much depth and form it gives uh, if you use highlights and shadows that's why it was really important to learn this in previous tutorials now there's another layer that I'm going to use which is clipped onto the coloring layer I'm using a clipping mask and as you can see I start to add uh, orange colors to the image from the left and I'm going to add dark blues from the right you will see it on the foot uh, when I start adding it um, basically I just used two light sources to make the colors a bit more interesting because usually they are still very uh, neutral when you even after you are using the highlights and the shadows so that's why I always decide first where's my light source my main light source but then I usually use two complementary colors uh, and place two uh, lights in the composition as you can see now I'm working on the helmet and I want to create the reflection on the helmet for that again I use a separate layer just to make it easier to handle that layer and I'm using uh, 20 or 10 percent opacity for those skyscrapers in the helmet and in this case you don't have to be very precise just quickly uh, draw some details and something like that Try, I'm was trying to follow the shape of the helmet that little bubble and now I'm adding highlights using the brush tool also there on the helmet I try to make it look interesting now I'm adding little highlights on the edges of the uh, armor plates it's hard to see but if you concentrate you might be able to see those little lines that I just add there again it just makes it a bit more interesting and differentiate uh, the elements from each other make it look even more illustrative you can see on the hand holding the sword I added highlights on the sword I again add a bit more highlights and I don't want to end up with a photorealistic illustration so I will stop uh, because even even from this point if I would continue and working on lots of little details working on very closely on the colors I would be able to turn this into more photorealistic illustration but I don't want to do it that uh, in this case we will have another uh, uh, tutorial for that so you could see I was turning it on and off just to see before and after and 
we have uh, all the details that we need. I will probably turn back the shadow layer as well soon and I will turn off the other layers. Yeah, here I just uh, turn the background to black just to see how it works on black but I don't want to change the background color so there's the shadow below uh, the character you can draw that on a separate layer using a soft edge brush and set the, the opacity to something like 10 or 20 percent and it doesn't have to be very precise again it just helps you to show the surface the floor and uh, it, it describes a bit more uh, the depth here I'm playing around a bit with textures uh, but I decide not to use any so I would be able to create a brush and make make the whole armor look a bit uh, damaged or uh, dusty but I didn't want to spend too much time on it uh, we will learn these techniques in another tutorial but for now that's all what we wanted to create today and I hope you enjoyed it as I said in the beginning you can download uh, the sketch or the line art so you can follow me along and you can draw and you, you can use your own colors you don't have to follow me you can use a completely different color uh, uh, palette and uh, you can also work on little details change the proportions play with all the little details you can create an environment for this robot i i really hope that i i can inspire you and uh, you can explore new things and new techniques and you can come up with your own special techniques and if you want to share uh, your ideas you're more than welcome to comment here on PSD Touch Plus and you can even uh, show your work just give us a link and uh, I think everyone would be interested in each other's work so let's see what you can achieve with this illustration and um, thanks a lot for your attention in next episode we will again learn some cool stuff so thanks a lot and see you next time.